Before trying this set, I was absolutely sure that it was impossible to get one set that it's easy to start, has a ton of glides, you can catch waves with, you can pump for long distances, and you can even do some freestyle with. And then I tried this one. I was absolutely surprised because uh, yes, it's fast, but it's also kind of easy to start. You just have to make a, a couple of adjustments that uh, I will reveal uh, towards the end of this video. But uh, honestly, I'm just uh, absolutely in love. Now, let me be completely honest and transparent. As always, uh, yes, I'm earning small commissions uh, from uh, the sales that I'm making uh, um, through my content with Ketos. But to show you that uh, I'm not here to sell anything and uh, I'm just, just going to give uh, my honest take as always, uh, I'm not going to pitch uh, the code that you can use uh, on the website uh, to give me a small commission until the end of the video. So that uh, only who is really interested uh, uh, in this set uh, can get access uh, to this uh, coupon code, you, you, you name it. So let me start from what this set is uh, composed by. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna make like a super in-depth uh, review on uh, the exact uh, specifics uh, and uh, all these kind of things. Uh, like um, I'm not gonna mention what's inside the board, uh, what carbon fiber they're using for the mast or for the front wing, because for that there is actually another video on my channel, which is like uh, two videos uh, before this one. It's called uh, my new foil is uh, handmade, and if you really want to know exactly how they are handcrafting this foil. In France, you can just go ahead and watch that video first and then come back here. Now, starting from the board, as I said, nothing technical, uh, just a 90 centimeter dock start board, of course, a carbon fiber. The thing that I like, besides the stiffness, uh, it's uh, how thin this board is and how light this board is. Now, one of the reasons why this board is so light is because uh, they completely removed the pad. So the grip is integrated in the board. Now, Honestly, at the beginning, I was kind of skeptical about this uh, integrated uh, pad, but then uh, I tried it and it's just perfect. Like, I don't need more grip and uh, I wouldn't uh, want less grip because you can uh, easily move your feet around, but at the same time, when you need grip, when you are in difficult situations, uh, when it's wavy and you need control, you still have grip. And that's pretty much what the board is about. And I like the fact that it's, the fact that it's thin because uh, uh, it's easy to grab, for example, when you're rock starting and beach starting, uh, I do really appreciate uh, uh, a thinner board. Now, the mast. Nothing really special to say about the mast, besides the fact that it's uh, super fast, honestly. Uh, you can really feel that it's uh, low drag and um, it's 80 centimeter, but uh, you can get it in basically every size you want. Just like the, um, the paint, you can customize your foil as you, as you want. That's another cool thing. But um, yeah, moving on, we've got the short fuse. I have uh, both fuses. They're making a slightly longer fuse and uh, these uh, uh, shorter fuse. Now, the longer fuse, uh, I like it as well because despite the fact that it's longer, so yes, it's more stable, but uh, uh, it's harder to recover, let's say. But uh, the mast um, on that, uh, in, in that fuse is moved closer to the front wing. So you still have a very, very good control, even though the set is stable. But I do prefer this one better because uh, really when it's like, uh, when you made a very huge mistake, uh, very huge, <laughs> when you make a huge mistake, uh, then you can still recover it uh, uh, with no, little to no, to no effort. Now, the tail, leaving the, the front wing for, uh, f leaving the best for, for last. For what concerns the tail, I've got the smaller one that they have. I also have a, a slightly bigger one, um, but uh, I do like this one better because it's super skinny and uh, quite fast. But again, nothing really to, to say about that. I really want to talk about uh, the front wing because that's probably uh, the most important part uh, of uh, this set. Now, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the profile. Maybe it's because of the thickness. Uh, maybe it's because of the shape, but uh, it's absolutely incredible how easy it is to start if you have the right technique and then uh, how many things uh, you can do. Now, the, the best thing is uh, the, the speed range because you can either go super fast, either super slow. Like, uh, as I said, you can be started, you can rock start it uh, without being an incredible mega ultra pro, but at the same time, it goes super fast. Now, uh, if you know Yvonne, you probably watched, uh, uh, he made a video like uh, 
couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, and that video absolutely exploded. Of course, it's a fantastic video. He essentially rides the wave of uh, that big boat in the Lake Geneva for like 20 minutes. And uh, if you are careful, in that video, you can see Seb Soji riding this exact set. So Seb Soji was able to catch that uh, super fast boat, uh, even with uh, such a big front wing. This is how fast uh, um, this wing can go. That's why, that's why I like it. Because uh, when you need speed, you, just, you can just uh, pick it up and, uh, and catch even the, the faster swells. And when you, when you make a mistake or, or when you want to start from different, place, from different places and difficult uh, positions, uh, you can still do that. Anyway, I mentioned that uh, I want to talk about the technique that uh, you have to use to start this wing because it's slightly different. Now, if you have a look at my old recordings with my old set, you will see that uh, often in the beach start, uh, but more in the rock start, I was simply uh, jumping on the board. And uh, it was okay because uh, um, the front wing was, uh, was thicker. But with the thinner, faster front wings, uh, you have to adjust slightly your uh, starting technique. So the dock start is pretty much the same, uh, the, um, but the rock start, the study start and the beach start, you really have to step on the board. Instead of jumping on the board uh, and uh, trying to land on it, you really have to, to glide. You, you really have to seek the glide and to land one feet before the other one. Of course, uh, this doesn't apply in the drop start. This set is super easy to, to drop start. And the, um, the smaller front wing, like the, the Carve, the freestyle front wing that I also have, it's even easier to drop start because uh, in the drop start, uh, if you don't have a huge wingspan, it's easier because in the drop start, in the drop start, you can easily gain speed. So you don't need, uh, uh, you don't really need a ton of uh, low end. But if you have a, a big wingspan and you are drop starting, and for example, your feet placement is not uh, precise uh, and you roll the foil, then it's hard to get it back. But if you have a, a smaller wingspan, then it's easier to get the foil back right. That's why, um, yeah, this was just a little thing about, uh, about the drop start. But I was uh, talking about uh, how you actually rock start and study start uh, this foil. Now, I'm not going to do it because uh, <laughs> I'm recording a video, <laughs> but um, essentially you really, really want to glide and land one feet before the other one, uh, which is, uh, in my case, uh, the left foot. The, the, um, yes, the left and back foot. And I really keep, uh, I will show maybe some videos uh, while I'm talking, but uh, I really keep uh, pressure on, uh, on the front end. So it's like uh, the static start and the rock start are more similar to a beach start. That's uh, how I see it. That's how I see um, static starting and rock starting uh, smaller, faster foils. Anyway, while this boat is uh, ruining my video, um, what else to talk about? That's pretty much it, I think. Oh, I want to talk about one thing, because uh, if you see the specs, this wing, this front wing especially, is uh, pretty much, uh, it's pretty similar to the uh, Axis uh, Art uh, 1401. So you might think, uh, so why would I go for the Ketos instead of the 1401? Well, again, I'm going to be honest, I tried both, the same day, back to back, and uh, <laughs> I do really prefer this one. Now, why? I have no idea what's, uh, what's, what are the differences, because again, on paper they're pretty similar, but I don't know, maybe this one is slightly faster, uh, maybe the, the shape is slightly different, but uh, I do prefer the way this turns, and uh, I also do believe that uh, it's faster. <laughs> probably, probably the 14.1 it's slightly easier to start um, from a rock or from a static position or beach start. But uh, I, once you're up, I think that uh, <laughs> this one is honestly more fun and it glides better. But anyway, don't uh, don't say that to access users. <laughs> anyway, beside uh, beside that, I wanted to mention another thing. So. This is not really, really, really for beginners. Like, uh, I wouldn't really recommend a complete beginner to start with this front wing. You can start with this set. You can use the same board, you can use the same mast, uh, perhaps uh, the long fuse uh, and a bigger tail, and uh, they are making other front wings. But um, that's the thing, you know. I changed like four brands <laughs> in my pump foiling career, and uh, I understood one thing, that it's just better and cheaper and more intelligent to stick to one brand. 
And uh, I really thought about this, you know, if, if you just for go for this board, this mast, and then you just change the lower part of the set uh, to go your career, you're good to go. And uh, of course, uh, if you want to buy something and keep it for a long, long, long period of time, you need something that uh, it's long lasting. Now, as I said, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to use my own words, not uh, someone else's uh, uh, thoughts. So I don't know about the durability of this gear. I just know that uh, people uh, in France, uh, Ketos, uh, Ketos riders, were riding the same gear basically since uh, years. So I believe it should be pretty, pretty durable, but uh, I will let you know, right? Now, um, what else to talk about? Uh, yeah, the fact that it's uh, technical. It's a bit more technical, not only to start, but uh, also to ride. Probably because of uh, the shape of the front wing, uh, at the beginning I was uh, breaching a lot. Like uh, I was trying to stay as high as possible on the mass and then I was breaching, I was breaching, I was breaching. Because you have to be a bit more precise. It's more technical than thick wings. Because probably uh, thick wings, with thick wings, uh, it's uh, harder to breach, right? Because uh, probably you have more resistance uh, before uh, uh, jumping out the water. Probably, I have no idea. I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's, these are my feelings, right? So you just need to, you just need to practice a little bit to accustom your technique to this foil. And for what concerns the rest, uh, I just love the fact that uh, if you gain speed, you just have to gain that initial speed, but uh, as soon as you gain the cruising speed, uh, literally you don't need to do anything. It's so efficient that uh, it requires uh, little to no effort to, to go on. Anyway, that's that. That's pretty much it for, for this video. If uh, Ketos is something that uh, interests you. If uh, this set uh, uh, it's something that you might be interested in, again, if uh, you feel like uh, your set uh, it's kind of slow, um, you know, maybe you have these big, uh, thick front wings uh, and uh, you want to ride waves. And sometimes you go out and you feel like you see that the wave, the swell, is actually overtaking you, then maybe uh, that's uh, that's that's time to, to switch to a faster wing and uh, this might be your your next set because uh i do believe that uh with uh, these uh, thick uh, slow foils uh yes they are super good to progress but uh, you can only go until a point then uh, if you want something more if you want to uh catch waves uh, if you want to uh, wake teeth uh, if you want to downwind a little bit uh, then uh, you need something a bit faster a bit uh, yeah a bit more high performance i would say so that's that. If you are interested in this set, in this exact set, or in something else from Ketos, you can go on your web on their website, uh, which is uh, in the link in the description. It's going to be the first link in the description, and you can use the code Ketos Gael twenty four, and uh, I will earn a small commission from that. That will really, really help uh, the channel grow and uh, me producing uh, more higher quality content. Now, let me know in the comments uh, if you want me to compare this wing, this set, uh, to other specific uh, brands and sets, because I would love to do that, so that I can destroy them all. <laughs> anyway, that's that. And if you have any other question about this set, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or even to just drop a comment uh, in the comment section below this video. I really appreciate your time, I really appreciate you watching this video, and for sure I will see you next week in the next video. Ciao, ciao.